Friends, mixer grinders are used in almost every home. So how to do wiring of mixer grinder, I am going to explain you through this video. Motor which is there inside mixer grinder is universal motor. In one way, we also call universal motor as series motor of AC. We can run this on AC and DC supply both. Now we have to control speed of mixer grinder. For controlling speed, we use a rotary switch here. To provide power supply to this motor, we use a plug top. Here we use 3 pin plug top. Now for protection of universal motor, we connect an overload relay. This overload relay will be of single phase. In some of the mixer grinder, you will find an indication lamp connected also. So I will tell you the connection of indication lamp also. Now these 5 electrical equipments which are used for mixer grinder, how to do wiring of all these I am going to explain you. So friends watch this video till the last. If you like this video then please give like and comment on this video and also do share this video with your friends. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet then please subscribe. Ok then let's move forward. In this plug top there are 3 terminals. In this one terminal is used for phase supply, second terminal for neutral and third terminal for earthing. So with one terminal we will connect a wire and in this rotary switch here with P terminal connect this wire. So this rotary switch got the incoming power supply. Now in this motor there are 4 wires. Now how to connect these 4 wires with these 3 terminals? Let's understand this. Friends universal motor you have in this sometimes you get 4 terminals or 5 terminals or can be even 6 terminals. Now how to connect all these wires? I want to tell you something about this. From this universal motor 4 wires are coming out for connection. Now among these 4 wires to which one we should provide phase supply and to which one neutral supply. To find this simply through multimeter measure the resistance. The wire whose resistance will be highest that wire will be for neutral. How to measure resistance? Look here. What you have to do measure resistance between R and Y then Y and B after that B and R. After this what you will do through black wire measure resistance with all other wires. Now resistance values you will get. Note down all the values. Now the wire whose resistance is highest that will be your neutral wire. Now see, if there are even 4 or 5 wires then also wire whose resistance is highest is your neutral wire. Now 3 wires are left here. Resistance value below neutral wire, I mean 3 wires which are left among these 3, wire with highest resistance value will be for low speed. Now wire below this one will be of medium speed and the wire whose resistance value is lowest will be of high speed. Now let us consider this red wire is of high speed. After this yellow wire for medium speed and blue wire for low speed. So how to do connection of these? Look here. Here what we will do, the first terminal here connect this terminal with the low speed wire. So what we will do, in this rotary switch with one number terminal connect a wire and with blue wire connect this wire. Now with two number terminal connect a wire and connect with yellow wire. Now third wire is left, connect third wire with the wire which is left. After this, now we have to do connection of neutral supply. For connection of neutral supply, in this plug top with second pin, this one, with this pin connect a wire and in this overload relay with first terminal connect this wire. Now with other terminal of overload relay connect a wire and with neutral wire of motor connect this wire. In some of the mixer grinder, there is an indication lamp also. So how to do connection of this? To this indication lamp, we need to provide phase supply and neutral supply. So simply what we will do, from here connect a wire and connect this wire with indication lamp. I mean with one terminal of indication lamp connect this wire. Now with second terminal of indication lamp, we will connect neutral supply. So in this way, we do connection of indication lamp. Now friends, if your motor is in running condition and due to some reason it got tripped, Maybe due to heavy load, motor got trip. What makes motor trip? This overload relay. Now on this overload relay, there is a push button. When we press this push button, overload relay get reset. And on changing position of rotary switch, speed of motor changes. Now in this plug top, this thicker pin here, connection of this pin is left. With this pin, we will connect a wire and the motor we have, we will connect this wire with body of motor. Thicker pin is for earthing and with these two pin we connect phase supply and neutral supply. So friends in this way we do wiring of mixer grinder. Friends I hope you like this video. 
If you like this video, then do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Friends, if you want to learn how to do connection of mechanical 24-hour timer along with time setting, then click on the right hand side video to watch.